Crystal City will have its first city council meeting tonight since the FBI arrested many of the city's leaders in a bribery case. But could the meeting be over before it even begins? The defender's Garrett Berger live in Crystal City. All right, Garrett, you've been in Crystal City off and on a lot over the last few days. What are you expecting tonight? Well, honestly, Steve, no one's really sure what to expect tonight. We have nothing about this council or this council meeting or this city right now is normal. At this point, all but one city me member of the city council is under federal indictment, most of them from the conspiracy and bribery case that came out earlier this month. On top of that, a petition to recall the mayor and two council members was certified just last week. If there is a meeting, though, we're expecting excitement. We, had, we went along with the mayor last week to see what, ha what happened when he signed the agenda, and fireworks flew between him and the clerk and then him and the police as they came out and told him not to have any future contact with the clerk for now. So I say if there's a meeting, because the question is, will enough council members show up? The lone council member who's not under federal indictment right now says that he isn't sure how many people are going to show up, and they need at least three to have a meeting. Now, one member has already reportedly resigned, and an election for his replacement appears to be on the agenda. Also on the agenda, if the meeting does happen, are some other things regarding the city's future. First up, the discussion and possible action on what to do with James Jonas, the city attorney and manager. He was also charged in the bribery case, and his, his large contract was cited by petitioners as a reason to recall those three officials. Now, that recall petition will also be on the agenda tonight, and... We'll bring, to, we'll bring to you later tonight what happens if there is a meeting at all. For the night, be Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.